Okay, so in this video, we're going to be proving the change of base formula for logarithms. So just remember, if we have a logarithm to a base of a, apply that to a number x, then we can change this, we can express it in terms of a new base, little b, by taking the ratio of these two logarithms, where the top logarithms apply to x, and the bottom ones apply to a, which is the odd base. So we want to prove this. And essentially, we're going to turn into exponentials and then back into logarithms. So to start off, I'm just going to give this a name. So I'm just going to let m to be equal to log base a of x. And then if we express that as a power, as an exponential, this is equivalent to x equals a to the power of m. And this is just because exponentials are the inverses of log. So this is just an equivalent definition. And since we want to express m in terms of a logarithm of base b, we're going to apply logarithms of base b to both sides of this equation. So if we do that, we get log to the base b of x equals log to the base b of the right hand side, which is a to the power of m. And now this is useful because we have the laws of logarithms. We have the power law, which states that we can just bring down the power in here to the front. So this is equal to m times log to the base b of a. And so we want to get our formula back in terms of m. So if we just rearrange this, we just divide by this stuff. This tells us that m equals log, this left hand side, log base b of x divided by this, so log to the base b of a. And this is exactly what we wanted to show because we defined m. m was just the left hand side. It was log to the base a of x. So we kind of deduced this formula from uh, from exponentials and then using the power law of logarithms. So that's kind of how to show this is true. 